Well, our topic was Benjamin Bloom and Bloom's Taxonomy, and I'm Cheyenne. I'm Benjamin. And so, who is Benjamin Bloom? He was born in 1913, and he passed away in 1999. He was born in Pennsylvania. He attended Pennsylvania State University for his bachelor's and his master's. He got his PhD at the University of Chicago, where he did his career, and he was on the board of examinations. He got, he was an educational psychologist, and he had beliefs about how educational settings and home environments affected learning, and that's where he played into his taxonomy. Bloom's taxonomy was created by Benjamin Bloom, but it had other people played into the creation of it. It wasn't just him. He, it was the classification of education objectives and mastery learning. It has three domains, cognitive, psychomotor, and effective. Cognitive has six levels, psychomotor has five levels, and effective has five levels. Originally created in 1956, but was revised in 2001 by Lauren Anderson. That is a picture of Benjamin Bloom. Here's a video. This video is using the basics of the movie cut out to show you the different levels of the Bloom's taxonomy chart. And this is uh, the cognitive chart, which is uh, in every education classroom, um, especially in the United States, because um, we <clears throat> use the is
promise. Okay, so here is an example of the chart, and I feel like that video was a good example of it because it broke down each level, and then it used the video to like explain it better on a more like real world level. Here are some examples, like your lesson plan objectives, uh, critiquing a short story is a good example. Sample questions where like you have each level and they have questions they have they can answer. Uh, a verb wheel and then posters. Here's an example of the verb wheel and this one also includes technology to where like you have different apps that you can use. And these are Bloom's taxonomy domains, the three different domains. I'm going to kind of break down each domain, uh, kind of go a little bit more in depth and with them. The cognitive domain, which is what most people uh, are aware of, which is the um, most, the bottom level is knowledge and understanding, is recalling uh, what has been given. It's kind of, in, in other words, could be identifying. Um, task at hand. Comprehension is uh, learn, being able to re reiterate <clears throat> what has been learned. Um, uh, application is when learners are able to apply what has been learned. Uh, analysis is uh, when, when a learner sees um, the objective, they're able to formulate what's kind of going on. Uh, Evaluating the synthesis as the learner makes their own judgments on what has been learned. And um, the highest level of the cognitive taxonomy uh, is creating, which is basically the highest level. Uh, is learning it applies everything has been put. At, well, the learner applies everything, and at this point, uh, just putting it into action, um, kind of see uh, what they get. Um, the next taxonomy is the effective domain, which is the feelings domain, receiving, uh, which being able to respect others' ideas. Uh, responding is uh, complying with the task. Uh, valuing is how much attention a person puts into an object. Uh, organization, putting the values of what a person believes in into its proper perspective. And internalizing values is this level is where people are um, consistent, they kind of are who they are, and self-reliant, and they are very predictable. Another domain that people really don't know about, uh, psychomotor domain, which really in the PE field is really beneficial to me. Uh, imitation is where the learner, the coach or teacher, shows the student what how it's done and they imitate it. <clears throat> then next is the man manipulation. Uh, being able to perform the skill uh, from just, you know, word of mouth directions, precision, refining what has been kind of learned, kind of more guided practices, kind of being over, oversaw, overseen, <clears throat> articulation, um, coordinating a series of actions, achieving harmony and consistency. And naturalization is a step where people don't always uh, get this high in this taxonomy because it's just a natural thing uh, without needing to really think about it. Um, everybody, again, doesn't reach this level, but uh, there are people who do.